All right, time now for our high school athlete of the week. And this one may make you reach for that box of tissue. News Channel 3 Sports Director Ed Kangerski joins us live in the newsroom tonight. Ed. Well, Andy, there's a sports angle here. This youngster is a tremendous athlete, but there's also a human element that has allowed him to flourish. Andy Pepper brings us this emotional story. Lloyd Norick Sr. Bishop Robinson is one of the very best players in all of West Michigan. A talented young man on the verge of a Division I scholarship. He's a, a tremendous athlete and he averaged a double-double last season, uh, 24 points and 12 rebounds. But five years ago, Robinson was a frightened young boy bouncing from home to home after his mother disappeared and went to Virginia. I went around asking my family, like, have you seen my mom? Have you heard about her? I mean, wherever I ended up that night, that's where I was asleep, so. Robinson spent the next year living with various friends and family before eventually settling in with his grandmother. I wouldn't even think about going to school. She didn't care if I went to school. She didn't know what day it was. Already did it. And when Robinson did go to school, trouble wasn't far behind. The only person Robinson really communicated with was his eighth grade teacher, April Rocco. Once I realized what was going on, I, I made a point of becoming more of a mentor to him and going out of my way more with him. And then when his mom moved is when I decided to call her and see if she would be okay with him moving in with us. <laughs> Rocco and her husband Frank, already with two young boys of their own, took, as she described it, a leap of faith in bringing Robinson into their home. But that faith was tested early on. When, we, when I first moved in with them, me and Frank didn't talk for like three months. I mean, I didn't know him. Tell me what it was like to have this brooding, quiet teenager in your home. Well, the whole experience was new, you know. And then he really sought out April for everything. I mean, the most he said to me for the first couple of weeks was, where's April? Social media. But what was expected to be a temporary arrangement soon became permanent. The newfound stability offered by the Roccos allowed Robinson to relax, flourish, and eventually become a member of the family. April says, Bishop's your son now. Mm -hmm. You consider him your boy? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He is every bit part of our family as the other two boys. How is Bishop with your boys? Uh, he's fantastic. He's phenomenal. He's a great big brother. They love him. He's their big brother, 100%. Um, they worship him oh you are so lucky all right tell me about your big brother when i do homework and he has to do homework too well i sit at a table and then he starts like um trying to get over there too i don't know if it's about that he wants to help me or he just wants to hang out with me did the Rocco's save you yes i would say they saved me tremendously like i don't even like know where i would be like literally without them. The things that I got right now, I would not have, I would not be the same person I am today. And I just wanna say God bless them. And they're like good people. And they're good, uh, they're good. I love them a lot. Andy Pepper, News Channel 3. Although Bishop has not been legally adopted, he signs his schoolwork, Bishop Rocco Robinson. He does have contact with his mother. In fact, he just spent Thanksgiving with her. Robinson also told us that his relationship with his father is improving and that they spend time working on his basketball skills. The senior was also a standout on the football field this fall, catching 10 touchdown passes for the Knights. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ed Kingerski, News Channel 3.